Hi, I'm Kathy Thomas, and I'm with the executive chef of the Ranch Restaurant and Saloon in Anaheim, Michael Rossi. Hi, Kathy. Great and, to be here. And I really like your Caesar salad. It's a little different. Yeah, it's a little different. We're going to use whole leaf lettuce instead. We're going to have a couple different colors, so it's going to look really pretty in the bowl. I like that. Let's get started. All right. The vinaigrette. We're going to make it real easy in the blender here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make an emulsification with eggs. Your best helper is mustard. That's right. <laughs> and is this a Dijon mustard? This is Dijon mustard. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. That's going to give it the zesty flavor. Right. Then. I'm going to add a little bit of vinegar. Your oil to vinegar ratio should be about three to one. Optional, but I think what makes the Caesar salad is this is a Spanish white anchovy. And it doesn't leave you with a fishy taste. No. It just leaves you with that umami kind of you nice got to have it, that underlying flavor, flavor exactly. Right. We're going to add a little bit of lemon zest to it mm -hmm. uh, just to give it some good balance. We're going to use uh, a couple different kinds of oil. I'm going to use a vegetable oil and an extra virgin olive oil. Oh, that's interesting. Because I think the, the extra virgin uh, is a little bit too rich if you have all extra virgin, even though we love extra virgin mm -hmm. olive oil and everything else. I like to add a little bit in just to start the process. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Just because if I, if I blend it all now, it's just going to be that egg yolk uh, trying to whip itself ah. uh, with, with no, nothing to bind it to. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just pulse it here first just to kind of start it. But you see how the mustard helps it get together. And so then you can just put it on a slow blend and then just slowly add in the oil. And then you want to check to see if it's all coming together before you mm -hmm. add any more. See, nice. It's, it's coming together really good. Oh, it looks beautiful. Uh, we're going to season it now with a little bit of kosher salt mm -hmm. uh, and black pepper. Uh, and I'm going to add my cheese now. This cheese is a, a beautiful jack cheese from Northern California. We usually don't think about jack cheese as a grating cheese. No, it, but you know, as you can see, it's got a great age on it. Uh, it's It's got a great salt content. You can use a number of cheeses. You can use Parmigiano Reggiano mm -hmm. or or uh, pecorino, any mm -hmm. kind of drier cheese. We're gonna put on a stir, add a little bit more oil. Here's my spoon. Oh, it's really good. Oh, good. You wanna get a good amount inside, and I put a little bit in the bowl itself. Yeah, that's uh, interesting, right, off to the side. Off to the side, not really right on the leaf, mm -hmm. or else it's just gonna be a big clump on there. Right. And then I'm just gonna just fold it all together. Thank you so much, Michael. I'm gonna go find a fork. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> thank you. And now a quick tip for Melissa's about mosh. Mosh are these little tiny clusters of lettuce and it has a great taste. It's kind of nutty and sweet at the same time. And we're going to be pairing this with a baby heirloom salad that is dressed with hot bacon dressing. I cooked drained off, oh, all but about one to two tablespoons of the bacon renderings. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a quarter cup of vinegar and a quarter cup of water. And I'm gonna cook this down, scraping up the brown bits on the bottom, a little kosher salt, a little fresh ground black pepper, over in my heat proof bowl, I've got some of the baby heirloom tomatoes. I'm gonna pour on my dressing, put in the bacon, give it a toss, and on the mosh, it goes. So pretty. The fruit and vegetable aisles are filled with so much potential. Try something new, have an adventure.